guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a little bit different to my usual videos it's a bonus video so I'll still have my usual tutorials and sort of advice art topics at the end of the week but I really wanted to make this video because there's a certain logo and application that I am seeing appear absolutely everywhere over the last few days and that is this new social media app called Vero and it's been around for a while but literally over the last couple of days it has gained so much popularity everyone is sort of flocking over to it and I first started seeing it on Instagram I seen loads of artists that I follow on Instagram literally posting saying join me on Vero and in their stories in their sort of post feed there was this sort of logo absolutely everywhere so I was really intrigued by it and I wanted to look up a bit more into it and so the first thing that I did is I went over to the app store and I had a look at where it was placed in sort of the popular most downloaded apps and when I looked a few hours ago it was number 10 and then I looked literally a few minutes ago and it went from number 10 straight to number one and I thought okay this is interesting so why am I talking about this is this relevant to you guys well I think I wanted to talk about this because even though it might not directly be related to art if you guys are wanting to start a career or gain a following as an artist it is so important that you're on it with these new trends and new things coming out things that are gaining in popularity you need to be really really sort of aware of the ever-changing world and the digital world online and on the internet if you want to create a career as a creator and so if you guys are interested in growing a following as an artist or want to become a full-time artist and use the sort of internet to promote yourself, then I definitely think you should listen to this video about this new app. So what Vero is, is it's trying to say it's going to be different from Instagram. Instagram is its main sort of rival. And this app is saying, one, it won't have any algorithm, you know, the stuff that you follow that you'll see that. Whereas with Instagram, a lot of people got annoyed because you weren't seeing things in chronological order. So you'll follow someone and for example, they might post something a few days ago, which is really important for you to know now, but you don't see it straight away. And a lot of people getting annoyed by the algorithm with Instagram. So this new app is saying that it's not going to have any algorithms. You're just going to be able to see all of your people that you're following, all of their stuff as it comes in and stuff like that. And the other thing is that it's saying is there's not going to be any ads. So I think a lot of people start to get annoyed with social media because either you've got mid-roll ads with YouTube or on Facebook and Instagram, you're seeing all of these pop-up promotional boosted ads instead of the stuff that you're following. And so this sort of social media platform wants to take it differently. And instead of using ads, it actually wants to create sort of like a subscription based thing an annually an annual thing where you pay however much for the year and it won't be like a massive amount I don't think but you'll pay a certain amount per year to use it rather than having the ads which it uses to like run off. And so if you sign up at the moment, the first million users gets it for free for life. So definitely quickly go and download that anyway, even if you won't use it because then you'll get it for free. Though I do think because it's on like number one, like most downloaded, that that's going to end very, very soon. I managed to get in towards that first million. So I've got it for free and I've been playing around with it a little bit. And to be fair, I don't necessarily think it's something that will like really take off and take over Instagram, but it very might well do, it might do that. And so what I basically wanna tell you guys is there's this new app called Vero and I definitely think you should download it if you're trying to grow a following as an artist and have a little play around with it. Because even though at the moment it is extremely glitchy, honestly, the servers are timing out every few seconds. So it's very bad at the moment and they're working on it, I suppose, with the sudden influx of people interested in it, that they can't really handle it, but they're working on that, on that. But I definitely think download it, have a play with it. You know, stuff you post to Instagram, post on there as well. Don't like create loads of content exclusively for it and don't use other social media sites. That would be really sort of stupid. But put the stuff that you're putting on other social medias just on there as well, just to be present in that space. Because if it does suddenly blow up and become so popular, you wanna be the first person, one of the first people on there. It's definitely very beneficial to be the first people on a new platform. It really helps. And if you're trying to grow a new following, 
then I definitely think getting on board with a new social media is going to help you out. So I don't necessarily think that it's going to take over Instagram. I don't necessarily think the whole subscription for a year thing is going to work. A lot of people are very much into the idea of getting stuff for free and especially with social media. So I don't know if it's going to take off like that. I think a lot of people have suddenly gone onto it just because they want to get it for free before it becomes paid. But again, I think it is important to do that before to like download it before it suddenly becomes paid and annual because it's not just a year you get it free for you get it free for life if you download it now so it says so yeah what do you guys think have you heard of this new social media app do you think it's going to be good I don't necessarily think that I like the idea of it I don't I don't know I don't see how it's going to work because obviously I feel that YouTube and Instagram put these algorithms in place for a reason and maybe people are just frustrated with them and want to jump on to the next thing because of the romanticized idea that this one's going to be perfect but as you can see already there's a lot of issues and I don't really know whether the no algorithm thing is going to work as well as they think it will but it might do. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think this app is just going to be like a craze and something that's going to die out very quickly Or do you think it's something that is here to stay and is going to be one of the big contenders with the other social media apps? Let me know what you think. And are you going to start using it? Are you going to use it to build your art following and create a following as an artist? And how are you going to use it? Or are you just going to like download it and kind of watch how it goes for a while? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to just jump on and create loads of content for it straight away. I'll upload some photos, the things I'm doing to Instagram on there because it doesn't take any extra time and like I said if this suddenly blows up then you've already got a good start because you're one of the first people on there it's always great to be early and so you don't lose anything if sort of this thing like kind of flops you don't lose out on anything because you're still building your social media sites on other places Anyway, so for the last few minutes, I just want to talk briefly about this painting that I'm working on. So this is of a ram and it's another watercolour piece. I love doing these ones. And so prints for this are available on my Etsy store if you want to check that out, as well as other prints for my other animal paintings. And so I really like doing this one. I really like the reference that I used. So I liked the dark sort of shadows on the side of the face and the other sort of highlighted. So the contrast between the lighting was really nice and I really liked that I really like using those deep sort of dark colors in watercolors I think it's really nice and I always love combining the different mediums like the watercolors gouache fine liners white gel pen all of those mediums together I really like doing mixed media I just think it is so so fun so I started off with the layer of watercolors I got in some general sort of base tones and colors with the watercolors and then I like to go in and add the fine liner sort of define all of the main outlines and give it sort of a unique style and then I like to go in with the gouache to pull out all of the highlights I want to in the future try and preserve the highlights a bit more so that I don't have to go in with lots of white gouache to try and bring them back up I want to try and preserve them so that's something that I want to work on for the future but for this this one I went in a lot with the white gouache on this sort of horn bit and around the face for the highlights to create that sort of nice contrast and that really bright look that will contrast with the dark dramatic shadows. Then I also went in with some colour pencil to make the colours a bit more saturated, give a more vibrant look, so make the purples even more purple and add some more saturation to the oranges. I thickened out the black outlines a bit so they're a bit thicker, create more of a dramatic outline, especially to the sort of sections in the horns because they were quite like deep and thick. So I wanted to add some darker shadows there and it just makes it stand out a bit more if you've got some of those thicker lines. I also added a bit of white gel pen detail around the eye as well and that's basically it for what I did for this piece. If you guys want to learn even more about my techniques for watercolour paintings like this as well as coloured pencil realistic pieces and graphite and lots of different mediums then make sure you check out my Patreon where I have real time tutorials in lots of different mediums and subject matter that you can follow along to because it all has voiceover as I'm doing the drawing. But that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know it's something a little bit different, but I'll be back to my usual sort of content later on this week. This was just an extra video. Please give it a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everybody.